Hey everyone, so today is the day that I'm finally bringing back book club. I am so excited. Um, so if you've been here since we did book club, I don't know how many times we've tried to do book club. We did it on and off for a little bit and mainly because school got in the way and I ended up reading so many textbooks that I didn't really have time to leisurely read. Well, I've been done with school now for like a year and we still haven't brought back book club. So yeah, it's well into the month at this point. It's like a weekend. <laughs> and I was just gonna put it off once again till next month and be like, the first of the month. And then I was like, why does it have to be the first? It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have to be any time. And I was looking for a book to read because I just finished one. And I was like, why don't I just do book club and we can all read it together. I figured that would be way more fun. So here I am in my stretchy pants and I've got my Chihuahua Neens here next to me. She actually has bronchitis. We think it's bronchitis. I hope it's not a heart thing and I hope it's not a trachea thing and it's just bronchitis. Um, but uh, I hope it's not any of it, but she seems to be doing better today. Anyways, now that I'm way off topic. Um, all right, so if you're not familiar with book club, well, I guess even if you are familiar with it, I'm kind of going to change things up anyway. Uh, first of all, I don't really know what I'm calling this book club yet. So if you want to leave any suggestions down in the comments, please do. We can vote on it. It could be fun, right? So I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, so before when the old book club, I did mainly spooky, uh, spine tingling, I don't know, uh, psychological thrillers, horror, uh, dark type of books is kind of what I did more of, which I love and want to keep doing. But if you're not into dark stuff, or if you are, it doesn't matter either way, I kind of wanted to also offer a nonfiction option. Like we've kind of been doing some decluttering and organization type of stuff, productivity, like I'm super into that. I feel like we're all either into both or one or the other. So you can kind of pick and choose uh, what you want to read. So the idea is, I'm gonna choose two books that are in the psychological thriller slash horror slash spooky type of dark genre. Uh, and then I'm also gonna pick two books out of some sort of productivity, decluttering, organizing, time management, whatever it is, genre. I'll pick two books of those. We used to vote on books over on Twitter and a lot of you were like, I don't have Twitter, I don't have Instagram, so I don't know which one wins or what we're reading. Um, and I feel like I got a little mixed up, but here on YouTube, there's this handy dandy community tab that I have no idea how to use, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, and I'm going to have two polls. One of the polls is going to be for the spooky book of the month. Uh, so that's going to be, so there'll be two options and then whichever one wins, that is the spooky book we're reading for that month. Uh, and or you can read whatever one you want, but I'm gonna be reviewing the one that wins basically. And then the second will be the productivity, time management, organization, whatever book, uh, or personality type, maybe I'll throw in there. Those types of books, I'll also have two options for those. And then whichever one wins, I'll be reviewing that one as well. So, and then we'll be chatting about it later, which I'll get into here in a second. Uh, basically, just head over to the community tab and you'll see the polls. Okay, I'm thirsty. I don't know why. Sometimes I get nervous and I just get this dry mouth. I don't know why I get nervous sometimes when I talk about new things. <laughs> Anyways, just head over to the community tab and you'll see the two polls. And if you only wanna read the spooky book, go for it. Just answer that poll. If you only wanna read the organization book, I'm not offended. We just go to that poll and vote for that. So let's get into the books of this month. Oh wait, all right, so this video is a little bit longer than the other ones are gonna be. I swear book club every month is just be me reading the options for the month. It's not gonna be me explaining it into detail. How I'm gonna review the books, I haven't really thought out. <laughs> so Libra of me to say. Uh, but I haven't really thought it out. I think what I wanted to do, because some of you have been asking me to do some cooking videos or some chit chatty type of videos, so I might like cook and review a book. Whoa, that's, that's maybe what it should be called. Um, or do anything, like maybe I'm grocery shopping or in my car, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if there's something that you want me to be doing while I'm reviewing a book, just to kind of make it more chill and more chit chatty. And then in the comments, we can talk back and forth about the book and what we thought. Um, or if you just wanna read the books and you don't care about the review, that's cool too. Um, but anyways, it'll most likely happen at the end of that month. So we can talk about the books we just read, um, but just let me know down in the comments. So anyway, let's get to the books for this month. Um, by the way, I have all the book descriptions down in the description box, because I know that I get a little too dramatic sometimes when I read, 
I get a little excited. Uh, so, uh, like I'm reading like a children's book or something. So if you, if it annoys you, you can go down in the description and read the descriptions and hopefully that helps. <gasps> mm. And then I will have the links for all of the books, where to get them down in the description box for you. And they might be Amazon affiliate links. I think one of these is free with Amazon Kindle Unlimited. All right, so I'm gonna start with the spooky books, just in case you're here from OG Book Club and you're into the spooky books, or maybe you're new here, hello, and you're wanting to read a spooky book. I'm gonna start with those. All right, so the first spooky option is called Craven Manor by Darcy Coates. And it, this is the one that's free on Kindle Unlimited if you have Kindle Unlimited. All right, and here's the description. All right, it says, it says, Daniel's desperate for a job. When someone slides a note under his door offering him a groundskeeper position at an old estate, it seems too good to be true. Alarm bells start ringing when he arrives at Craven Manor. The mansion's front door hangs open and leaves and cobwebs coat the marble foyer. Foyer? Maybe I took French too many times. Oh, whatever. It's clear no one has lived there in a long time, but an envelope waits for him inside the doorway. It contains money and promises more. Daniel's desperate. Against his better judgment, he moves into the groundskeeper's cottage behind the crypt. He's determined to ignore the strange occurrences that plague the estate. But when a candle flickers to life in the abandoned tower window, Daniel realizes Craven Manor is hiding a terrible secret, one that threatens to bury him with it. But long story short, kind of sounds like a haunted house type of book, which I'm super into any sort of haunted house story, uh, but this one looks really good. All right, so that brings me to spooky book option number two. Okay, this one is called An Anonymous Girl, and it's by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pickannon, I think, maybe? Pickannon? I don't know. We've read a book by them before called The Wife Between Us. If you were in book club before, it was, or if maybe you've just read it before, it was one of those ones that really messes with your head, which I love. So this one's more of a psychological thriller if it's anything like The Wife Between Us. That book was so messed up, so messed up. I, I can't even tell you. Okay, uh, so this one, where is the description? Let's see what it says. Looking to earn some cash, Jessica Ferris agrees to be a test subject in a psychological study about ethics and morality. But as the study moves from the exam room to the real world, the line between what is real and what is one of Dr. Shields' Dr. Shields experiments blurs. Dr. Shields seems to know what Jess is thinking, dot, 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 and what she's hiding. Jessica's behavior will not only be monitored, but manipulated. Caught in a web of attraction, deceit, and jealousy, Jess quickly learns that some obsessions can be deadly. And that sounds amazing. By the way, these descriptions are coming from Amazon and it has a lot of reviews, four stars. And yeah, I really liked The Wife Between Us, so I'm really interested in reading this one. That's spooky book option number two. And you can go over once again to the community tab and vote for which spooky book you wanna read. All right, so moving on for the nonfiction books, I'm kind of wanting to do, and maybe for all of the books eventually, I'll do a theme, but uh, I definitely want to do it with the nonfiction books because that way we're not reading too many of the same books right in a row, you know what I mean? So I can kind of mix them up. Uh, so this month, I was thinking because I'm clearly struggling just by doing this book club and not knowing what day to do it and not having a schedule and being a total hot mess, I figured this month we could start with time management. So the two books for time management this month, are this one is called 168 Hours, You Have More Time Than You Think by Laura Vanderkam. It is, it is available on audiobook. And I tried to pick all the ones that are available on audiobook. God, this is the longest description ever. Can I, what does it say in Goodreads? Uh, by the way, I mentioned Goodreads back in my old book club videos, but if you have not used Goodreads before, this is not sponsored by the way, uh, it's where you can keep track of your books, like what you're reading, what you wanna read, and I'm on there under Jade the Libra, so you can find me, we can be friends, uh, we can see what each other's reading, um, and you can track your progress in your books, it's all the things. So I like it, but uh, if you have it, you can be friends. So, so once again, this book is called 168 Hours, You Have More Time Than You Think by Laura Vander, Vanderkam. I want to say Vanderpump. <laughs> That's not right. Vanderkam. Okay. Um, here's the book description. All right, here we go. There are 168 hours in a week. This is the guide to getting the most out of them. 
It's an unquestioned truth of modern life. We are starved for time. We tell ourselves we'd like to read more, get to the gym regularly, try new hobbies, and accomplish all kinds of goals. But then we give up because there just aren't enough hours to do it all. Or if we don't make excuses, we make sacrifices, taking time from other things in order to fit it all in. There has to be a better way, and Laura Vanderkam has found one. After interviewing dozens of successful, happy people, she realized they allocate their time differently than most of us. Instead of letting the daily grind crowd out the important stuff, they start by making sure there's time for the important stuff. When plans go wrong and they run out of time, only their lesser priorities suffer. Vanderkam shows that with a little examination and prioritizing, you'll find it possible to sleep eight hours a night, exercise five days a week, take piano lessons, and write a novel without giving up quality time for work, family, and other things that really matter. I feel like I almost need to read this book either way. That's option number one for time management. So option number two, which one did I pick? Okay, Surge is what it's called. I don't know, I was just looking up time management books and these ones came up. But this one's free on Kindle Unlimited too. If you, if you don't have Kindle Unlimited, it's actually a really good deal if you read a lot. But anyway, all right, so this one's called Surge. Your Guide to Put Any Idea Into Action by Matt Cain, Steve Garguilo, and Sergei, Sergei Skorky, Skorik, 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 maybe. I don't know, I probably butchered that, but I really tried Skorik. All right, so here's the description. How many times have you had an idea that you were really passionate about? One that you really believed was important? How many times have you waited until you had the perfect amount of time? I'm triggered already. <laughs> How many times have you waited until you had the perfect amount of time or the perfect environment or the perfect set of circumstances to act on that idea? How many times have your ideas vanished into thin air because those perfect opportunities never came? No more. We've been on a two decade quest to find better ways to take action on our ideas and share those strategies with others. In this book, you'll learn exactly how to harness the power of now and take action on your ideas. You'll learn how to alleviate anxiety, face your fears, and overcome overwhelm. All so you can bring your ideas to life. Wow! Both of these are much needed. So those two time management books will be over on the community tab as well. So you can vote on which one of those you want to read if you're interested. So I'll leave the poll up for a couple days. Uh, but usually with polls in the past, you can see which one is winning and by like a landslide. So you can go ahead and get your book or if you want to read them all, uh, you can just get them all if that's what you want to do. But typically if you're looking to get the book sooner than later, you it'll, it's one time I guess it was pretty close. It was like 50-50 almost. But regardless, those are our book options. I'll have all the descriptions and uh, links to where you can buy them down in the description box for you. And also let me know if you like the two different genres because we could just go back to one. I have no problem with that. So yeah, anyway, I'm really excited to be back here with book club. I hope you're excited too. And anyways, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good weekend. If it's after the weekend, hope you have a good week. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.